YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Yella. And today is Wednesday, hump day, August 19th. Today is the day. I pre-ordered this thing a few weeks ago. Thought it would never come. And it showed up today. Shout out to FedEx. Shout out to the safe unboxing knife. Let's just get right into it. Y'all already know what it is. Well, if I put it in the title, I guess. There we see Google Fi right on top. Hit me up in the comments if anybody's using Google Fi. I'm always looking for a pretty good wireless service um, with great value. Haven't tried Google Fi yet. I'm still trying out visible wireless. In fact, I might even put my visible wireless SIM card into this Google Pixel 4a. So this phone was rumored like a year ago. So we've been waiting on this thing and they just kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. It was supposed to release um, a few months back did not release. So I guess the big question is, did they wait too long to bring this thing out? Because now they're rumoring a Pixel 4a 5G model, the Pixel 5, and we're already approaching September, uh, which is typically the iPhone release, but I hear it's going to be moved to October this year, but we'll see. So did they wait too long for this thing? I don't know. I've heard good things. Let's go ahead and take a look to see what we get in the package. I did pick this up directly from Google. It only comes in black, 128 gig model, 349. Now I wanna say if you got it from like Best Buy and you had a upgrade available, then you would get it for like an additional $50 off, so like 299. So first impressions of this thing. Hmm. Well, let's look in the box first. So we got our little manuals. We got our SIM ejection tool right there. I want to say this is an 18 watt uh, fast charger, which is pretty standard with Google. And there we have our USB-C uh, cord and the USB-C like this little transfer doggle or whatnot. And that's it for the box. So no headphones or anything, but at that price point, um, I'm not gonna complain. So let's take a look at the device. Not bad, not bad material there. Plastic back. Really, really good size. Um, I've been using the iPhone SE 2020 and this definitely feels a lot taller. We got our power button there, volume rocker. I want to say it's a 12 megapixel camera there. Fingerprint reader, I think is big time. Um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the, uh, in screen fingerprint reader. So you guys hit me up in the comments if you agree or disagree. Um, I'm kind of glad that they just stuck with the fingerprint on the back. I think that's a good placement for most phones, unless uh, you have them one of the newer iPhones that kind of uh, Face ID works, you know, flawlessly. So, and a lot of apps are optimized for Face ID. I found that with Google, not everything is optimized to use Face ID. So for the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL owners, I think kind of missed out without having a fingerprint reader there so first impression is not too bad i'm going to pop this in and um test this thing out hit me up in the comments let me know what you guys want me to test out on the phone it's your boy yellow stay tuned